Motion from the far side. They'll fake the end around. Moving, throwing, touchdown, Aztecs. 34 yard at a tie, final second, snap down. Kick is up, the kick is good! He'll go play fake, and a roll, what a throw back to the far side, he's got Escobar inside the 15, broke a tackle, 10, he's gone, touchdown Aztecs! Play fake, Dingwell has time, throws far side of the end zone, and Roberts, touchdown Aztecs! And there it was, from 10 points down to a 39-38 win for San Diego State on Saturday night. In Reno, Nevada, against the Wolf Pack, it's the Aztecs now 3-1 and one in Mountain West Conference play. Kevin O'Connell was on the sidelines for that game. He is in for Chris Ellen this morning. I am Ben Higgins, and uh, Kevin, very pleased right now to go out to our hotline. We are joined by the quarterback who stepped in and did a remarkable job on Saturday night on his 21st birthday, leading the Aztecs to that victory. Adam Dingwell with us here on Extra Sports 1360. Uh, that is a birthday you will never forget, I'd imagine. Oh yeah, you know uh, I couldn't ask for anything better. That was, uh, you know, that was a time of my life, and I'll remember that forever. Well, Adam, I mean, it was obviously a very great experience for me to be down there for your first real chunk of playing time. And I get it when you came in the game, you looked very comfortable. But at the same time, I was kind of wondering where that offense would go. You seemed to really settle in there in the second half. Talk about the experience, start to finish. What was going through your head throughout the night? Um, you know, I was I was very comfortable. You know, uh, I believed in all the guys I had around me, and uh, I feel like they did the same thing with me. And I knew Coach Ludwig had some great plays uh, planned out for us for the rest of the game. And you know, I was comfortable getting in there. And I mean, once I got on the field, everything kind of just you know fell into place. And I just took a deep breath, and you know, I said, "Look, guys, I can't do it by myself. It's going to take all of us." And you know, we came out of there with a great win. It was awesome. Adam, what did you think on the two-point conversion? First of all, what did you think of Coach Long's decision to go for two in that situation? He could have just kicked the extra point and gone to double overtime. So what did you think of the decision? And then secondly, that was like the highest floatingest pass that I've ever seen. I mean, that ball was in the air. It seemed like 20 seconds, at least for an Aztecs fan. I mean, it felt like an hour until that ball came down. What did you feel like emotionally when that ball was in the air and heading toward the corner of the end zone? Yeah, definitely. Well, uh, first off, with Coach Long's decision, um, as soon as he called that timeout, we all knew we were going to go for two, and we knew Coach Ludwig had a great uh, play called for us, and you know we all believed that we were going to win the game, and once Coach Long gave us the go-ahead, you know, we were excited to get back out there and just go take it. And then, as far as the pass, um, I mean, what can I say? It was up there for a while, and personally, I felt like it was up there, like you said, for an hour. Um, I thought Adam Roberts was covered when I first looked at him, so I just wanted to uh, give him a ball that he could go make a play on, and turned out he was wide open in the corner of the end zone, so it worked out well for us. Adam, you talk about Ryan Katz. I know you guys are close. You share that quarterback room together. You guys competed hard in, in fall camp. Obviously a very tough, unfortunate injury for a guy that's been a great leader for that team. But now as you transition forward, you're going to be the starting quarterback of this team moving forward the rest of this season. To get where you guys need to get to, does your preparation change, or do you continue to do the things you've been doing all season? Um, definitely. Yeah. As far as Ryan, um, my heart goes out to him. I mean, that's that's a tough way to go out, but you know, uh, we all have his back, and he's going to be around. And he's still going to continue to be a great leader for us, which uh, we're all excited about. And as far as my preparation, I just got to keep doing what I've been doing. Um, I mean, we all get great film time with our coaches, but it's not just about that. You got to get it on your own. Um, you know, the weekends or Mondays when we have uh, no practice, you got to come in and watch film and get to know your opponent real well. But, I mean, as far as myself, I just got to keep doing what I've been doing, um, just stay focused and keep on the grind. Adam, let's go back to camp. We're joined by Adam Dingwell, Aztecs quarterback here on Extra Sports 1360. Came in in relief of the injured Ryan Katz uh, in that 39-38 win on Saturday night at Nevada. It was a very close competition. Rocky Long said it all camp. You know, uh, Both of you guys very close. He'd feel very comfortable going with either one of you guys. He wanted to make an early decision, though, to make a starting quarterback. He gave it to Ryan Katz, who was the transfer, the senior coming in. I think most of us kind of understood that, but uh, did you feel like no one ever really lost confidence in you and the fact that you could go in and you were needed at the same time? Were you able to maintain your confidence through that whole period? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, in fall camp, uh, it was a great competition going uh, going through with it. And, uh, you know, coaches made a decision. I was okay with that. And I, uh, once that happened, I just, you know, 
got behind Ryan 100% and tried to help as much as I could if he needed anything, and he did a great job for us. And um, as for myself, you know, my confidence didn't change at all. Um, I believe in myself, and I believe in the guys on this team, especially the seniors we have. Um, they're a great group of guys, and, you know, they'll get the job done when it count, uh, when we need to have the job done. So, you know, I believe in them, and I feel like they believe in me as well, which is great. You also mentioned that once Rocky Long called the timeout, you guys knew you were going for two and the win. That goes back to fall camp as well, doesn't it? The fact that Coach Long established from the beginning that you guys are going to be going for it a lot on fourth down, that you were going to be going for two-point conversions, and not so much about his, his chart that everyone talks about, but simply about setting a mindset. How important was that mindset to you when it came down to that final play on Saturday night? Um, it was very important. You know, like you said, um, we've been doing that since fall camp, and uh, that's what our coaches decided to do this year, and that's what our identity is. And, you know, we all got uh, behind that 100%, and that's what we've been doing, and we'll continue to do that. So we just got to execute when we get out there. Well, Coach Long, obviously he's got that mentality, tough-minded defensive coach. He's from Texas. You're from Rockwall, Texas. I think your coach and you share some personality traits as far as toughness, and I think he sees a little bit of himself in you. He hasn't come out and said that yet, but do you and Coach Long have a lot more in common than maybe the fans might think? I could tell you, you know, I'd like I'd like to have that conversation with him myself and uh, get to figure that out. I think it's time. I think you go in there today uh, yeah. and you say, "I'm the guy now. Let's talk." Yeah, have fun. Have fun with that, Adam. Yeah, Rocky. Right. <laughs> more, get yeah. a little warm and feely, Rocky Long. We don't, we don't see that side of him too often. So uh, let yeah. me ask you. You know, we know that it was your 21st birthday on Saturday night. Uh, now, did you have a party or something on Sunday? What What else did you do to celebrate your birthday? Or was that enough for you? No, that was enough. I mean, that was the best present you could ever ask for. And, uh, you know, last night was kind of just a night to hang out and relax and, you know, get some rest because we got back so late Saturday night or Sunday morning, I guess you could say. So last night was a night to just hang out, watch the uh, Monday night game, just relax and catch up on your sleep. And Kevin, ask you about moving forward. Let, let me ask you about immediately UNLV coming to the queue this week. You know, uh, it's going to be your first home start now uh, for the Aztecs. Talk about what you're going to face with the Rebels on Saturday. Um, you know, I haven't watched too much film on them yet, but uh, they look like a pretty good opponent, and they've been having a good year, and it's going to take a lot for us to win this game. Um, we're going to have to play a com complete game, offense, defense, special teams, and we need to put one together and get a big one at home. Uh, it's going to be very exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Well, Adam, I can tell you, former Aztec to current Aztec quarterback, we couldn't be happier. You took control of that thing on Saturday night. Congratulations. Happy 21st birthday, and go get a W this weekend. All right, will do. Thank you very much.